Okay guys, so I've created, I've downloaded an app and I've created an automated timer. So what should happen is that it should automatically launch JJY on this Android phone and it should start to give that Japanese, that JJY signal, the atomic signal over to the watch. If this does work, I don't know if this works, I've not tried this, but if this does work, it means that I can automatically set this every single night to give the watch the signal. It has just automatically started launching the signal. Uh, okay, so let me just put the, 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 the watch back in that mode. Okay, so this would automatically happen, by the way, at two in the morning. I just want to test out the theory and see if this works. I'm going to see if I can zoom in just a little bit. There you go. So you can see that the current time is 2028. 20, and hopefully what's going to happen, what we want to see happen is the second hand now move over to the high, the high signal. So that should happen relatively soon. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Again, I don't know if this works. I'm just trying to think outside the box just for, there we go, that has gone to high. <laughs> that has gone to high. Uh, I don't want, I can't lift the watch up right now, but just trust me. Uh, you see, there you go, you, you can see that's gone to high. Fantastic. So it looks like we might be in luck. I'm just going to zoom out now. So I'm just going to leave this video running. Hopefully, you might want to skip ahead a little bit if you're watching this on YouTube. But ultimately, what we're looking to do it's we're looking to synchronize the time. And if I can get this to run every single night, literally every single night, the watch, it's going to think it's in Japan and it's going to naturally get the, the UK date, the UK time every single night. Uh, when the clocks change, it's automatically going to get it. Um, and that's all down to this automated application. Um, if anyone's interested, I can show you how this works. Um, but first of all, let's just see whether, let's see whether it gets the time. I don't know if this is going to fail. I don't know if it's going to work. Remember, I have set a time limit for 10 minutes on this application. So once 10 minutes has passed, whether it passes or fails, you know, it's going to, it's going to kill the application. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, oh, looks like the video has uh, just failed there. So I'm just starting to record again. Okay, so it looks as if, it looks as if that might have synchronized. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna push the button. And yes, it has actually synchronized. So guys, I think we've cracked the code. I think that is it. I think that is um, basically, you can see it's now synchronized. If I zoom in ever so slightly, move that phone over. You can see that 37, 38, 39, 40. You can see that we've got the correct uh, time. Let me lift the watch up now. You can see that it's Thursday the 1st, and you can see on the phone, let me, there you go, Thursday the 1st of July 2021, and it's, you, you've saw the time already, but I'll show you again. 20, 31, 32, 32 minutes past. It's exact, it's perfect. So ultimately, I might be able to lower the time on this this automated application, but now all I need to do is just shove those earphones underneath my watch every single day. Uh, and that basically means that um, I'm going to get the automated signal now every single night on this thing. I'm going to test it tonight and uh, come back tomorrow and uh, let you guys know if this works.